Hello, I'm Robert Grant, and welcome to LearnMyShot.com. Today, we're going to take our digital SLR camera outdoors into the sunshine, and using a piece of tissue paper for diffusion, create a wonderful shot. So let's get out there and begin. Here we have a hand-carved bowl and stone set on some aged bricks out in the bright sunshine. Now, let's work with the camera. First, we need to go from total automatic mode to AV, aperture value, which we control the aperture or f-stop, and the camera will automatically set the shutter speed. I'm choosing an aperture value of 5.6 to maintain a narrow focus for this image. And because we're on AV, aperture value, the camera will automatically set its shutter speed to adjust for the changing light conditions. You can see there, it already went from a 30th to a 60th and back to a 50th. We're using a 17 to 85 millimeter zoom lens at the 85 millimeter end of the lens. And that will help us keep the background out of focus for a more interesting image. The stabilizer is off because we're working on a tripod. We're setting the camera to manual focus so that we can control the point of focus in the image. And here is our first exposure. You can see the highlights are a little too bright and the shadows are way too deep. We need to even that out, so let's fix that now. To accomplish this, we're going to use our drafting tissue paper. We'll raise it up and lower a piece down so that it blocks all the hot sunshine from our object. And then we'll clamp to the table to secure it. And here is our exposure with the diffusion tissue. A little flat and possibly a little too bright, but let's fix the brightness first. To accomplish this, we're going to use the shutter speed dial. We move it two clicks to the minus side, which darkens our image by two thirds of a stop. The camera will now automatically keep all the exposures minus two thirds from its original setting, even as our light conditions change. And here's our new exposure. Two thirds of a stop darker, but still a bit boring. We need to add some sunlight back into this shot. You need to work quickly when using natural light because of its motion. So I'm going in to cut a slit in the paper and see where the sunlight falls across my set. Well, I've cut the hole in the wrong place. The sunlight's not coming across my subject. Let's try again. I'm going to lower down a clean piece of tissue paper and cut new holes where I now know the sunlight will fall across my set. Because you're outdoors and the sunlight moves, you need to be flexible when you do a shot like this. Here I've made several cuts in the tissue paper, allowing the sunshine to come through the paper and onto the set. I'm going to add something into the bowl for some graphic interest as well. Now we see the light coming through those cuts in the paper. It seems a bit dark on the right side, so let's add a card to bounce some light in. I'll use a piece of white foam core board to brighten the right side of the image. Also, I'm going to cut some more holes in the tissue paper to allow more sunshine through onto our subject. And here it is, our final image. Using just the sunshine and our piece of diffusion paper, we've created quite a wonderful image. Let's look at our first two shots and our last shot together. Here we can see our shot on the left in the hot sunshine, our shot in the middle with diffusion paper, and our final shot on the right with a mixture of the two, diffusion with some holes cut in our paper. So get out there and give this technique a try. Just make sure it's not too windy and you have a lot of sunshine. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video on using sunlight in your photography and can see how easy it is using your camera on a semi-automatic mode to get great results. So look for us again at LearnMyShot.com.